Birds are probably the most unique and diverse vertebrates on the planet today. A combination of feathers, flight and a beak structure set them aside from all other living animals. From Darwin's study of finches in the Galapagos, we know that the beak played a major role in our understanding of evolution. In this documentary we'll be looking at the origin of the beak and its transformation through time. In order to do this we must go further back in history before the dawn of the birds. Dinosaurs were one of the first vertebrates to exhibit a beak structure. It was first thought that dinosaurs evolved beaks to replace teeth in order to save weight, to aid in the evolution of flight. But recent studies suggest that evolution was more to do with diet. The two main orders of dinosaurs were Ornithischians, more commonly known as bird-hipped dinosaurs, and Saurischians, or lizard-hipped dinosaurs. Ornithischia are an extinct order of herbivorous dinosaurs that date back to the early Jurassic. They had a hip structure which is very similar to modern day birds, where the pubis bone pointed toward the back of the animal. They are distinctive from all other orders due to the presence of a beak structure. The order includes dinosaurs such as the Hatterosaurs, also known as the duck billed dinosaurs, and the Ceratopsia, such as the well-known Triceratops. They had an extra bone to all other orders called the premaxilla in the lower jaw. This, with the predentary bone, created a beak structure which was covered by a keratin sheath. This acted as a tool for the dinosaur, which allowed them to pluck up and cut into food such as nuts and plants. A recent study from Bristol University found by using CT scanning and computer models on dinosaur skulls that the presence of a beak reduced the deformation of the skull. This suggests that the beaks may have evolved as a way of stabilising the skull during feeding and therefore reduced the damage to the skull due to stress. Even though the Ornithosichians order had many similarities to modern birds, they are not actually their ancestors. The order played a key role in the evolution of the beak, but they became extinct. This suggests that a second evolutionary event occurred in a separate order of dinosaurs. We will now look at the other main order of dinosaurs, the Saurischians. Saurischia, or lizard hip dinosaurs, are the oldest known dinosaurs and are believed to be the order from which modern day birds have evolved. Recent studies suggest that some of them may have been covered in feathers. The order includes four-legged herbivores, such as Brachiosaurus, two-legged pteropod carnivores, such as Tyrannosaurus rex, and one of the earliest known bird species, Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx is referred to as the early bird and is about 150 million years old. It is said to show the transition between non-avian and avian dinosaurs. Like modern birds, it had feathers, wings and a fur colour, which is also known as a wishbone. It differed from modern birds as it had a full set of teeth, a long bony tail, flat sternum and three claws which were thought to have been used to grass prey or to climb trees. Archaeopteryx is a very important part in the transition from dinosaur to bird and a key point is that at the time of its existence there is no sign of a beak evolving. A slightly younger relative of Archaeopteryx called Confuciusornis does however have a toothless beak. Confuciusornis lived approximately 125 million years ago and provides one of the earliest records of toothless beak birds. Fossil evidence shows that the beak evolved separately in a number of different bird groups, a process called convergent evolution. The process took place in Confuciusornis as well as in other ancestors of modern birds. One of the main ideas for how the beak came into existence is that it developed as a tool to replace the hands of Mani Raptora. Mani Raptora are the ancestors of modern birds. They were a clade of non-flying theropods in the order Sauristia, whose hands later developed into wings. Without the ability to grasp, they resorted to using their mouths to feed and to manipulate objects. Over time, as their mouths developed into beaks, the beak became a precision tool that assisted in their survival. Ornithomimids, an extinct theropod relative of the Mani Raptora, also developed a primitive beak. They are reported to have reduced dentition and a keratin coating on the premaxillary and dentary bones of their mouths. It is thought that ornithomimids use this primitive beak structure to strain food from water. A major question in all of this is how each of these separate groups of dinosaurs morphologically changed from having a mouth to having a beak. And to understand this, we must look at the genetics and the anatomy of these creatures. Both birds and dinosaurs have three main bones that form the mouth area. The maxilla, the premaxilla and the dentary. Originally, in dinosaurs, these bones would have bore teeth. But over time, with each successive species, less and less teeth developed in the mouth. The need for a more specialised mouth, coupled with the use of a gizzard to digest food, meant that teeth were rendered useless in many species of early birds. 
Dentition was gradually reduced over the course of evolution of birds, and today all genes that code for teeth in birds become inactivated during the embryonic stages of development. As well as the loss of teeth, a protective layer called the rampotheca developed around the beak. It is composed of keratinized epidermis and is found in all living birds. So let's go beak to the future and take a look at modern avians and their mouths. So we all know that living birds have a toothless beak covered with a keratin coating. But since the development of birds, many species have gone on to adapt their beaks to further suit the environments that they live in. Some species like the hawk have curved beaks with a sharp edge that is used to tear prey into pieces, whilst others such as a hummingbird have long slim beaks for feeding on nectar. The variety of beak types are numerous, with specialisations for many dietary needs like breaking open seeds and nuts, digging for worms and sifting through water for food. One of the most famous studies of the evolution of beaks was on Darwin's finches in the Galapagos Islands. Darwin saw that the island finches closely resembled those on the mainland, but that many of them had gone on to develop a different beak structure to suit their feeding habits. Even though the birds were genetically similar and had originated from a single species, they had begun to separate into different groups to fill different ecological niches. And in doing so, their specialisations became more pronounced. Darwin used data from these birds to support his theory of natural selection and suggested that over time, each of these groups of birds with their different beaks would eventually evolve into separate species. The uses of beaks are not limited to feeding patterns. Birds are well known to use their beaks for other daily purposes, such as grooming their feathers or protecting their territory from competitors. If birds did develop their beaks in order to replace the hands of Mani Rotora, it is most evident in how they go about building their homes. Many species of birds gather sticks, mud or grass, which they then weave into a complex but stable nest, a feat of engineering to rival any others. Throughout the course of this video, we have tracked the evolution of the beak's many forms over millions of years of its existence. We've seen how ornithocytians developed a beak-like structure, but died out before it could be passed on to younger species. And osaurocytians gradually lost their teeth throughout their evolution. The descendants of early osaurocytians eventually developed into the class of animals we see today. Birds whose beaks have remarkably adapted to suit a variety of purposes, and may continue to adapt in the future of their evolutionary journey. Died from all other vertebrates. Vertebrates? No! Not vertebrates! <laughs> 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 no! 